This is the budget selfie phone Xiaomi Redmi Y2. I already did the unboxing and camera review and now this is the time to talk more. So let's begin with the full review of Xiaomi Redmi Y2. Hey guys, this is Dipankar back with another video and today I am going to tell you everything you need to know about Xiaomi Redmi Y2 before you buy this phone. Xiaomi Redmi Y2 falls in the same price segment where we already had Xiaomi Redmi Note 5. There are few compromises in design, display and battery just because you are getting a dual camera and better selfie camera. Redmi Y2 looks like Redmi Note 5 Pro with few slight changes. The body of the phone is made of plastic. The phone has 5.99 inches 18-9 display with rounded corners. Above the display it has front camera, earpiece and selfie light. It has volume rocker and power button on the right. Buttons are positioned properly so you can easily reach to it. It has SIM card slot on the left that includes two SIM slots and one micro SD card slot. The top side has 3.5mm audio port, IR blaster and secondary microphone. The base side has micro USB and speaker grills. The phone has dual camera setup and a fingerprint sensor on the back. This setup is same as in Redmi Note 5 Pro. It also has antenna lines that run along top and bottom of the phone. It measures 8.1mm in thickness and the weight of the phone is 170 grams. Rounded curves at the edges offer better grip. The phone looks good in terms of design but build quality is not as good as in Xiaomi Redmi Note 5. You also get a silicon back cover for additional protection. There is a 5.99 inches HD plus display with 18 to 9 aspect ratio. The screen offers good colors and nice viewing angles. It is just fine on outdoors due to reflect to nature. The display also lacks any kind of glass protection. So you need a good tempered glass for protection of Redmi Y2's display. The display also offers options to tweak colors and enable reading mode in night. You also get double tap to wake up screen gesture. The display is the primary thing where you will have to compromise. Redmi Note 5 comes for the same price and offers full HD plus display with Gorilla Glass protection. The phone runs on MIUI 9.5 based on Android 8.1 Oreo. It will also get MIUI 10 as soon as the stable version is available for the device. The MIUI offers several notable features like customizations, app lock, dual apps, second space and more. The UI offers on-screen navigation option but you can switch to gestures for getting more usable space on the screen. Once enabled, swipe up from the bottom of the screen to go to home screen. Swipe up from the bottom of the screen and pause there to open app switcher. Swipe left or right from edge to go back. MIUI works well and we didn't find any performance issues related to MIUI. The phone is powered by 2GHz octa-core Snapdragon 625 processor that we have tested in several Xiaomi devices in past. We found the same performance in this device as well. The phone offers lag-free experience and manages multitasking quite well. It has 3GB of RAM for good multitasking and Adeno 506 to handle graphics. Not just regular performance, the phone even offers good gaming experience. I tested several games like Asphalt, Dead Trigger, Traffic Rider and more. All these games were fine with good experience, even I could play PUBG on the phone. Here are the benchmark scores if you care about it. This is the 32GB storage variant of the phone. You can expand the storage up to 256GB by adding a microSD card. The phone has dedicated microSD card slot, so no compromise with dual SIM function. The phone's camera is the primary thing company wants you to notice. I have already posted a dedicated camera review of Redmi Y2, so you need to watch that video to know about its camera performance and see the camera samples. In short, I will say that the camera of Redmi Y2 justifies the claims and offers good experience. You get decent camera performance in both daylight and low light. The phone has a fingerprint sensor on the back and it performs really well. It is fast and quickly opens the phone. It also features face unlock option that work well but that is not as fast as fingerprint sensor. There is also an IR blaster so you can also use this phone as a remote control for several home appliances. Multimedia experience on this phone is fine, loudspeaker is loud enough, in-call sound is also well. It comes with 4G with voice over LTE connectivity and both slots support voice over LTE. Other connectivity options include Bluetooth 4.1, Wi-Fi, micro USB and GPS. 
The phone packs 3000s ATMH battery that offers a day usage easily, but it also depends on your usage. If you capture lots of selfies or play lots of games, it will drain faster. The battery takes over 2 hours in fully charging from 0 to 100% with charger provided within the box. Even if the battery capacity in Xiaomi Redmi Y2 is smaller than the battery capacity in Xiaomi Redmi Note 5, the performance is similar due to the use of HD Plus display in Redmi Y2. These were my views about Xiaomi Redmi Y2. The phone is for selfies and camera. It offers good selfie experience in most of the lightning conditions. Not just the camera, the performance of the phone is also impressive but with compromises in display and build quality. So it is a good budget selfie phone for those who just look at camera while buying a phone. Now you may be confused in choosing between Redmi Y2 and Redmi Note 5. Redmi Y2 is for camera while Redmi Note 5 is for overall good performance. At the end, it should be your decision. If you still have anything to ask, you can always leave it in the comment. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.